Hey, welcome back again. Today I'm going to show you how to use a torque wrench. So, let's get to it. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. So torque wrenches are one of the easiest tools to use. They're only comprised of a couple of different things. You've got the ratchet up here, and then you've got the gauge down here to which you can set it to either foot-pounds. Let me see if I can get that to come in there. Or inch-pounds on the back. So these come in half-inch, three-quarter inch, and quarter inch I'm assuming uh, for different applications and stuff like that. I went with the half inch just because it's a little more bulky but it's not over the top. And the way that you adjust it is you loosen this here and then down here you turn this these numbers here count the numbers in between the main numbers there. So if you wanted to set it to say uh, 110 foot-pounds then you would loosen up this nut on the bottom and then turn the handle to the right until the zero is just at the bottom of the 110 mark then you tighten this up here put your socket on here and then tighten it down I'll show you what that looks like now now by no means am I going to tighten these down to 100 foot-pounds that was just for demonstration purposes only so what you do is you're going to, when you use the torque wrench, you'll hear a click once you've completely torqued it down to the specification. So as you can hear me, push, and you'll hear that click noise, and that's on anything. Whether you're working on an engine, a tire, a tractor, whatever, that's the noise that's going to make whenever you tighten something down to the proper spec. Finally, these things can be tested out to see if they're still good and accurate and all that by just using one of these um, scales that you can get for your luggage. Uh, it's just a digital scale with a little hook on it. And the way that works is you, you strap this into a vise here and put it on, you know, probably a lower amount. You don't want to do too much because I don't know what exactly this is rated for, but you know, probably like 20 pounds, 25 pounds would probably be safe. And while this is hooked in here, you're going to take this little hook and you're going to pull on this hook and watch that gauge as you're tightening it down and once it clicks then you'll have your readout to tell you exactly if it's working properly like it should be or not. As always if you liked what you saw here today just keep in mind that I am going to be progressively pushing this channel to more advanced technical learning on engines and engine building and stuff like that. So stay tuned if you liked it. Thank you.